China's increasingly muscular interventions in the private economy have wiped hundreds of billions of dollars off share prices and sent investors scurrying to understand where the next targets will be. The country's leadership has embarked on a risky top-down approach to economic policy making that signals a departure from decades of market opening and engagement with the world, according to an Atlantic Council briefing paper released late last month by Dexter Roberts, a senior fellow with the Washington-based think tank. The aim of Beijing's government-directed and supported industrial policies is to create a more self-sufficient, more egalitarian country that will continue to grow rapidly, writes Montana-based Roberts, who is the author of The Myth of Chinese Capitalism, published last year. Before returning to the US in 2018, Roberts spent more than two decades as the Beijing-based bureau chief for Bloomberg Businessweek, during which he reported from all of China's provinces and regions. Our conversation has been edited for length and clarity. An equally important question is how has China changed? In many ways, it has changed dramatically. Friends there watch with consternation, for example, the worsening relationship between the foreign press and the authorities. I came to China in 1995 and for many years there was an often symbiotic relationship. In the years after China joined the World Trade Organization, there was a real sense among Chinese officials that it has worth their while to have a decent relationship with someone like myself. They wouldn't always be happy with the stories that I wrote, but they did feel at a time of economic opening that a business journalist could play a role in introducing China to the world. I had friends in the foreign ministry and when I look at what's happening right now, it seems almost inconceivable.